iOS 15 and Swift 5.5 introduced a new formatter API to help us cleanly format dates. Now, as you can see, this all the way at the top uh, it was very error prone. You had to get the exact string with lowercase or uppercase. Uh, it was kind of a pain to deal with. Well, as you can see on the bottom, this new API is a lot more cleaner. and is more like building blocks to help you build your date. Here I am in a brand new Swift UI project. To be clear, this code I'm about to show you will work in UIKit or Swift UI. So whichever one you use is irrelevant for this purpose. But all I've done is just added font.large title to help you see it. Other than that, fresh project. So let's start off super basic, right? This text, hello world, let's make this uh, a date. So if you don't know, initializing a date will give you today's date and time exactly, dot formatted. And you see over here on the right, that is the default date formatted if all you do is dot formatted. Now, of course, like I said, we can customize this uh, a ton of different ways and that's what we're gonna get into, but that is just the super basic version. Now, if you notice formatted also has a date and time parameter. So this is like the next level of customization, a little bit more. So let's say for date, I want, uh, and you can look at the various different styles, right? Abbreviated, long, complete, numeric. Definitely like experiment with this and you'll see this come into play later, but we'll do complete. And then let's say we wanna omit the time, right? So time can be omitted. Now let's see, see I get Tuesday, July 12th, 2022, no time because I omitted the time. So as you can see, just by giving the different, so we'll go dot complete, uh, dot, numeric, right? So just, just by these parameters of date and time, you can get various different date formats. So this will cover a lot of cases, but let's say you wanna get super duper custom. Now this super custom code can get a little messy because we are customizing like every aspect of the time. Like I said, it's like building blocks where you can customize the hour, the minutes, uh, you know, the day. So I'm going to move this formatted stuff into an extension. This is what I normally do. Uh, and it's because a lot of times in an app, you're gonna have different date formats, you know, displayed differently throughout your app. So I like a nice central place to have the various, you know, display formats, not in my code here. Extension, date, and we'll do var display format. I'll talk about the naming in a second, and that is a string. This will be a computed property, and here we'll take out our formatted. We don't have to bring the date because the extension is on a date itself. So you'll see how we use it here. So I, I just moved the code into this extension. So now on the date, I can do just a date dot display format, right? So as you can see in the code, when you use it nice and neat, and then all of our custom stuff down here will be abstracted away. And I believe I need a self here to let Xcode know what I am formatting. So all that was was a quick refactor. So uh, the call side of our code looks nice and neat. And down here we can have various different display formats. Like I said, this is just a generic name. Maybe you have like a calendar display format, onboarding display format, right? Cause you could have different ways you want to display dates throughout your app. This is a nice place for them. Okay, now let's get to that super custom stuff, right? So right now we just had a date and a time that we can kind of tweak uh, with different styles here. Well, what if I want to customize like the year, the month, the day, the hour, the minute? Well, we can do that too. So in formatted, uh, you want an object called dot date time. And this is where the building blocks come into play. Again, we'll do dot year. And if I do just dot default year, right, with no things, you see I get 2022. Well, if you noticed, year had some parameters here or a format. And you can see here it's format style dot symbol dot year. Well, if I tap dot, I can see all the various different year formats, right? Two digits. Cool. And you'll see over here on the right, I just get 22. So because this code can get quite long, we're going to go ahead and do dot date time and then dot year and uh, print these down there. I'm going to type out the rest and you'll see how we can customize it. So, right. So we'll do dot month, just keep the default month dot day. Just keep the default day for now. We're going to go back in and play with it. Dot hour, right? Dot minute. See how you can customize like each one, but I'm just getting the default values here. Well, just like with year, two digits, you know, I can do month dot and again, play around uh, narrow, abbreviated, default digits, wide. We'll go wide for the month. I believe that'll spell out the entire month. Yes, it does. Same thing for the day, right? Um, we'll just do two digits for the day. Hour, uh, conversational default digits, AM, PM. This is where you can omit the AM or PM or just change the AM, PM style. So I'll do dot, you know, you can do wide, narrow, uh, omitted. We'll go ahead and omit the AM, PM. So as you can see on the right, we no longer display AM, PM. Again, minute. Two digits, default digits. We'll go two digits for the minute. Uh, that'll be like zero one if there's only one. So that looks like a typical date kind of, but you know, let's say, okay, we don't want the time. Well, here in our super custom thing, we can just delete all the time stuff. And then year, instead of two digits, we want 
Actually, two digits is fine. The month is the, has some different you know, varieties here. We can do narrow, where it's just the J. So again, like I was saying, with this customization, you can pretty much build any type of date you want. Where you would need to go back to the old version, like as you see here with the super custom, you know, everything, where you can get the exact format based on the string you give in. So again, if you have a, a super custom format that's not covered by uh, all the stuff we just did, which again, the vast, vast majority of the formats you want will be covered, then you have to go back to that. Also, when dealing with JSON, converting a string to a date, you'll probably still have to go back to that old date formatter. However, a nice thing about this uh, formatted, if you do deal with date JSON a lot, right? So self.formatted, and we can do dot ISO 8601. So again, if you're familiar with sending dates up to the server in JSON, this format over here will be very familiar to you. So you can quickly convert a date to this string that is expected by the JSON and send that up real simple. Now let me command Z a bit to get all my crazy custom stuff back because that's what I want to leave you with here. It basically, yeah, like I said, get this date time and then you can customize all the building blocks in a wide, wide variety of ways. Super nice and again, if you put it away in an extension, your call site looks nice and clean. If you enjoyed my teaching style, my presentation style, I have my own iOS courses at seanallen.teachable.com. Check them out and we'll see you in the next video.